Hello Pisces, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, this is going to be your general <clears throat> reading for the next five days. Any information you all need, you can find it down below. I have personals open until October 21st. You could also check me out on Patreon where I post additional content for each sign. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get started for you here. And see what we're getting, okay? I see. I've got three majors out here. All right. Let's look at your overall six of wands. Getting a lot of recognition, a lot of attention. Okay. Um, which honestly, I feel is exactly what you expected. Okay. Uh, truthfully, that's how this feels to me. It seems like that's what you're working towards here. For some of you, this could be in work or business. It could be in love. Um, you could be looking for some kind of attention here. Looking for something to be recognized is what I should say. Wanting some kind of recognition because you have the page of cups here. You're wanting an emotional offer, an emotional message, some kind of support here, somebody to lean on. That's what's on your mind here with the page of cups. Some of you, you're thinking about. Uh, uh, sending a message out here. You got the Empress. I think it would be well received if that's the case. Could involve a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also involve a Taurus or a Libra, but I feel like things are growing and progressing with, a, with an individual here, okay? Now, showing up and what you need to ground, you have the Two of Swords right here, okay? So, this can talk about inner peace, harmony, um, you know, being at peace with what your intuition is telling you and with following it, okay? So, that's something that's showing up with the Two of Swords. Somebody could have their moon in Libra, but some of you also need to move on something. You need to make a decision. They're wanting you uh, to do that now, all right? You have the uh, Seven of Swords. Somebody could have their moon in Aquarius. This is showing up for your stability, so be mindful of your intellectual property. Be mindful of who you're sharing things with sharing ideas with, um, be mindful of who you're, who you're speaking with, for example. Like, I feel like you're receiving a lot of attention, so just be mindful of, of what you're doing with that, okay? Um, now, showing up for your feelings, you have the lovers, so really strong connection here. This is why I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're, you're wanting some kind of recognition when it comes to love or relationships. Um, others of you, you may feel a little bit distant from a person. I mean, I feel like there's a really strong connection here, but you're feeling some distance. That could be why you want attention, recognition, something of that nature here, okay? Um, now, what your intuition is trying to tell you, you have judgment. You have three cards of decisions out here. You have the two of swords. You have the uh, lovers. You have the judgment card, all right? So, there, there's something awakening here. There's something activating within you, Pisces. Um, now, showing up for what you... Um, for what you are creating. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is financial independence, stability, luxury. This is a card of enjoying the finer things in life, okay? So some of you could be making changes to your physical appearance. Um, this could even go as far as like the car that you drive or the place that you live, the kind of clothes that you're wearing here. So, um, you know, it doesn't have to mean that, but it can be a card of, of changing those things up, just enjoying the finer things, switching things up here, getting a little fancy for some of you Pisces, but mainly I feel like you're trying to create stability. Showing up for what you're destroying is the Ten of Cups. I think you guys are being more cautious about what you're letting in. Now, Ten of Cups is a really good card, but you have these two figures, both with their arms wide open, so they're they're accepting anything and everything because tens are completion um, in the tarot. So, you know, I feel like you guys have been in a space where you've been really open and accepting of anything that's coming in, um, which leaves you vulnerable and receptive to certain energies that may not, you know, be the best for you to be absorbing, right? So I think that you're in a space where you're kind of shutting that out, which is a good thing because I feel like that could be exactly what's putting you in that Seven of Swords energy when it comes to your stability, kind of taking from yourself or allowing others to take from you. Let's go ahead and clarify your air, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles, again, exactly what you expected here. Like I said, what, whatever is growing right here, you've been working on it nonstop. You've been working on it um, like religiously, okay? Some of you, this could involve a Virgo if this is love, by the way. But again, it's something you've been working on and it's, it's started to grow. You're receiving communication or you're receiving results of some sort here. Now let's clarify the earth energy here. <clears throat> Getting two. Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. Receiving all the facts, all the information with the King of Swords. So some of you have been waiting on some kind of information in regards to work, money, business. That's coming in with the King of Swords. I also feel you in a more cold energy. Not really cold, but more assertive is what I'll say here. More ready to stand up versus just being very kind, caring, giving with that Queen of Cups energy. I think some of you are in a space where you're realizing that, you know, if somebody doesn't care for you or give to you or help you out, why do you need to be in a position where you feel obligated to do that for them? 
Because the Queen of Cups is somebody who takes care of everyone. And I feel like you're moving into a King of Swords energy where you're like, you know what? It's time for me to take care of myself. And I think the universe is rewarding you for that big time, okay? Showing up to clarify your water energy. You got the King of Pentacles building your empire here. And also setting boundaries, putting up walls. That doesn't mean that you're not welcoming anyone in. But the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very stable, you know? If somebody wants something, they're going to go to him, you know, physically speaking. Like when it comes to uh, the material aspects. And I think that's been your position, the role that you've played for a lot of people. And when the King of Pentacles shows up, you can't really tell where he ends and where his environment begins. So to me, this can sometimes talk about putting up walls, setting boundaries. Putting up walls is not always the best thing, but boundaries, uh, that, that's a great thing to have here, especially in these situations where you're being taken advantage of, Pisces. Now let's clarify your fire energy here. Ace of Pentacles, absolutely. And uh, like I said, the universe is rewarding you for this big time. You move from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles right here. So that equals the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, getting rid of that energy where you're just caring for others and taking away from yourself to do so when they're not giving anything back to you. Uh, like I said, the universe is rewarding you for that big time. And I think that you definitely expected this here, Pisces. But that's what I like to see, okay? Feel free to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting me and you all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.